Hi everyone, my name is Erkin Yücel and I am an R&D engineer at Global Dynamic Systems. Today, I would like to do some operations using Ship Engine Room Simulator or as known as SERS. I have started the software in cold ship as the initial condition, which means there is no power in the ship right now. I will be power, powering up the ship with emergency generator first and then switch to main diesel generators. I'm going to start the emergency generator in manual mode. I am waiting for the engine speed to reach up to 720 RPM. I have connected my emergency generator to the emergency bus bar. I am not feeding my main bus bar, but I'm feeding my emergency bus bar from emergency generator. I will engage the breakers of all of these consumers and then start the operations. This is the interface panel for electrical distribution for 440 volts emergency network. Switching back to circuit breakers my 440 volt panel is energized so I can start the operations that are fed by the emergency bus bar transformers also I am going to start diesel generator first and connect the, the generator to bus bar and then prepare second diesel generator and perform parallel run. To be able to start my diesel generator I will need compressed air for starting, fuel oil system, lubricating oil system and a cooling system. I'm going to start with lining up compressed air system. I can now only operate auxiliary air compressor from emergency bus bar. I'm going to open the inlet valve of the auxiliary air receiver and start my air compressor in manual mode. The compressors, compressor and the receiver turns green. That means there's a fluid in it. And then I'll switch back to diesel generator screen. I will line up cooling system. I will start with seawater system. I'm opening the sea chest to be able to supply seawater to diesel generator inlet and outlet valves of the cooler and overboard valve of my sea pump and now my seawater line is ready and I will switch to fresh water line my, the expansion tank level is 75% right now which is good inlet and outlet valves of freshwater cooling system. I won't be able to start the freshwater pump because it's an attached pump. It will start as the engine starts turning. And now lubricating oil. Start lubricating oil priming pump in manual mode. There's about two bar of oil pressure at the engine inlet. And now I will line up the diesel oil line for my diesel generator. I'm going to open the outlet valve of my diesel diesel service tank. Now I can supply fuel to my fuel pump and then the generator. I will start the fuel pump too. The fuel pump's supposed to supply fuel pressure of around eight, eight to eight and a half bar. And it's very stable right now. I will go check my compressed air system. It's about eight bars of pressure here, and I will supply that air pressure to diesel generator number one. 
As soon as I engage the peel linkage, switch it to run position, my diesel generator is supposed to be ready to be started. Here is, and I will start the generator in local mode. The boil pressure here and fresh water pressure. The engine speed is supposed to reach up to 720 RPM here. All parameters look stable here. And I will switch the control to remote position to connect my diesel generator to bus bar here. I will do that in this synchronizer panel. I will switch synchronizer control to diesel generator 1. As you can see the diesel, my diesel generator number 1 is about 61.2 Hz and I have to adjust that to stable at 60 Hz. I'm going to lower the engine speed to maintain 60 Hz of frequency. about good right now. There is no trip on the control panel and I'm ready to connect my diesel generator to bus bar. Power ready and supplied and I have 440 volts on my main bus bar. I will go check the distribution network and now main bus bar is energized by the color I can tell that and I will switch the circuit breakers to feed all the consumers. I will start the engine room fans too. Here in engine control room. And now I will start diesel generator and perform the parallel run of two diesel generators. But first I would like to check my compressed air. There's about 18 bar of pressure. I will switch this auxiliary air compressor and stop it right here and supply that start air pressure to diesel generator number two. And I would like to line up fuel system and start the fuel circulation. lubricating oil system waiting for the fuel pressure to stabilize around eight and a half bar and now I can start my lubricating oil priming pump and lube oil system looks stable too and I will line up seawater cooling and freshwater cooling system for diesel generator number two all of the systems that are essential to diesel generator number two looking stable and I'm ready to 
start my diesel generator number two. Main lubricating oil pumps started, my fresh water pump has started. Supplying lube oil pressure and fresh water pressure at the inlet of the engine. And I will switch the control of the engine to synchronizer to be able to perform parallel run. And this diesel generator number two is running and the power is ready so I will switch the control to diesel generator number two. As you can see the synchroscope says the engine speed therefore the frequency is too high the engine is too fast I have to lower the frequency and stabilize at the 60 Hertz I'm going to adjust the engine speed sixty point four very close point two maybe one more time and it's synced I'm now ready to connect my diesel generator number two also and I want these two generators to share the load and so I will select the equal load program and wait for these two generators to share the total load on the main bus bar everything looks stable so I can continue my operations. I will start seawater cooling system with the main seawater pumps. Use the cooler number one. I'm going to start the seawater pump in automatic mode. and use seawater pump number two as backup. Line pressures are being stabilized. I'm going to connect, switch the temperature con controller to auto position so it will circulate. The seawater pump number two is in auto mode as a backup. And I will line up freshwater cooling system for low, low temperature fresh water. And the line is empty right now, and I will fill the line with uh, fresh water from hydrofor tank. Here's the hydrofor outlet. I am now able to supply this fresh water to engine room systems. And I can fill fresh water expansion tank right now. But I will turn the pump controls to auto position. So if the hydrofor tanks empties down, I will be able to fill it up. I will feed the pumps from both of my tanks port and starboard. Use filter number one and I will switch the pump to auto position. I will open the outlet valve of freshwater expansion tank and now I can supply this fresh water to my pumps and all the coolers. I will start air compressors first 
so I'm opening inlet and outlet valves of compressor coolers. I will operate the low temperature freshwater pump in automatic mode. and use the pump number 2 as backup. All right. Switch to compressed air and now I'm ready to start air compressors. Support the compressor number 1 with compressor number two to build up pressure in the air receivers faster and by the time I will start my boiler operations as you can see the distilled water tank is empty right now I will fill the tank from hydro 4 and w with that water distilled water I will fill up hot well with freshwater makeup pump and then this water I will be using inside the boiler to build up steam pressure and start circulation of the steam and then through the condenser it will build up back in the hot well I will be using both of these feed pumps the, that valves of the boiler I will open the ventilation valve before starting the feed pumps I don't want to build up air pressure inside the boiler I will start feed pumps in auto mode This will take a little while to fill up the boiler with water, so I will switch the other operations by the time. Check fresh water cooling expansion tank. Compressed air system. There's about four bar of air pressure here. Check my distribution network. Here. Here's the combined boiler. And in the next video, I will be performing some boiler and steam operations. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.